Hello everyone. This is Siddharth from QA Infotech anchoring today's webinar and supporting the event logistically. On behalf of QA Infotech, I would like to thank and welcome you all to this web event on Tian, an automated test execution lab on cloud. Till a decade ago, there were only a handful of OS browser platforms. This situation changed with the advent of mobile and smartphone devices, which added to the test matrix for most consumer-oriented web applications. There are no signs of the situation easing up, but the hardware OS browsers to increase, leading to a more complex and bigger test matrix. So how do we tackle these challenges of maintaining specific hardware and software requirements in the test lab and managing these resources for their optimum utilization? <clears throat> the agenda for today's webinar is to discuss some of these resource management challenges in test automation, their implications, and how Tian, a completely open source, hybrid, and automated test execution environment can help take advantage of your unutilized or underutilized hardware resources. Our speakers for today are Mukesh Sharma, the CEO of QA InfoTech, and Raman Deep Singh, the head of our test automation group. We will start off with Mukesh, who will be providing an overview on the subject, how this idea was conceptualized and its business advantages, followed by Ramandeep, who will be delving further into the practical implementation of solutions being used at QInfoTech with the help of some live examples. Please feel free to send your questions to us anytime during the web event using the questions tab on GoToWebinar platform. At the end of this session, we will try to answer as many questions as time permits. All participants are on mute at this time to allow for the speakers to present. Over to Mukesh now. Thank you, Siddharth. Hello, everyone. A very good morning. I'm very happy to share with you the work that Ramandeep and our test automation team have achieved through TN, which is an automated test execution lab on cloud. We started working on Tian earlier this year after I wrote an article for Better Software magazine uh, titled Time to Think About an Open Source Automated Testing Ecosystem, in which I had mentioned a few challenges that automation engineers face, including limited availability of platforms, browsers in a test lab, in the recent times, companies with good automation practices have created excellent automation frameworks which are capable of simultaneous execution of test scripts on multiple platforms and browsers. Cloud offerings are improving by the day, providing richer infrastructure as a service of options. However, there are a lot of inefficiencies that still exist which slow down a tester's productivity, including lack of comprehensive clouds that bring together machines and mobile devices, and, and lack of detailed test execution logs or access to videos. For example, um, you know, if you were to think of a situation, wouldn't it be nice to have a system that allows test automation engineers to upload their Selenium scripts select platform and browser combinations or you know make it even more simple by just having a test automation engineer select the configuration that he or she wants the test to be done on um, and you know in an unattended manner and then later on troubleshoot with troubleshoot the tests with video logs or um, the um, uh, screenshots of all the steps that were executed Tian does exactly this and much more that Raman will talk, walk you through in this webinar. He will show you screenshots of what the Tian interface looks like and also show 
demonstrations of Tian in action. This is our first step towards building a comprehensive testing ecosystem which I strongly believe is the need of the day to save our test automation engineers time and empower them to take on bigger and better tasks at work. This is also our, um, uh, th this is a bit uh, that, that we are doing towards the testing community. Um, in this initial message, I will let Raman take over to present Tian in complete detail. Thank you, Mukesh. Before we proceed with the webinar slides, let's have a quick look at the agenda. First, I will talk about test automation and the need of test resource uh, management. And then we will try to understand what are the challenges around maintaining and managing test labs for execution of our automated tests. Then I would introduce Tian and we will try to understand how Tian solves some of these challenges. Then we would showcase a demo of Tian to see how anybody can execute a test, an automated test using Tian. Then we would talk about some of the existing solutions which are there in the same space and their challenges and how Tian overcomes some of those challenges. Then we would have a detailed demo of the features of TN and we would see TN in its full capacity as it is today. Then we would talk about some use cases, some realistic user scenarios which are resolved and implemented inside TN. Let us try to understand the problem in a bit more detail. Consider any test automation project. The test automation solution that is built as part of the project has two intentions. That any tester from the same team is able to execute those tests wherever they desire and the test can be scheduled through a continuous integration system so that developers get a feedback wherever they have a nightly, weekly or an unscheduled build. Wherever the automated test is executed, the test requires a test resource, a set of OS browser combinations and a test machine on which the test can be executed. When the test suite is executed, the solution acquires that machine, executes the test on it and re releases the machine at the end of the test and finally it uh, provides the test results. Depending on how the test infrastructure and all these test machines are managed inside the organization, the test machines can be either provided as dedicated resources to these individual and independent test projects or they can be provided as a shared test laboratory. Consider a test that is executed through a continuous integration system where the test is scheduled to be executed once every day. If you're using a shared test lab and the test is trying to execute, but let's say some other test is also scheduled for a different project at the same amount of time, uh, at the same time, and that is also utilizing the same resource, the shared resource that this particular test is trying to acquire is already busy. And hence, depending on whether you have uh, handled the situation or not, the test would either fail or would have to wait a lot of time before the developers would actually get the feedback of the test results. Or let's say you provide a dedicated machine to this project for test execution. And in that case, when you execute the test, only at that particular time, the machine is fully utilized. And when you're not executing your tests, and in those times, the dedicated machine is underutilized. So what are the challenges with, uh, that we've seen in, in this discussion? Well, if you provide a dedicated machine for a single project for test execution, the machine would certainly be underutilized because you're not going to execute your test 24 hours a day. And if you have a shared test lab in your uh, local organization, local infrastructure, you might have huge lists of OS browser combinations but there might be some projects which require very specific configuration of OS browsers combinations 
which are not available in your to uh, local test lab. And how about smart devices? You cannot have all required smart devices and uh, devices from the makers for all the required compatibility matrix, compatibility uh, testing requirements for a project. And on top of that, since the shared devices and shared lab is uh, time shared across different projects, it really becomes a difficult task to manage and maintain the whole resource scheduling. With test labs in place, you have you generally have a manual process that who would take the resource at what particular time, and it becomes really tedious to maintain that scheduling manually. And when you talk about maintaining a local test lab. There's a lot of maintenance cost involved. You need to create all those different OS, browser, plugin, version machines or virtual machines and then make sure that they are ready for execution of automation through all the different test automation tools that your different projects might be using. So what are the primary uh, broad, uh, broad challenges? If you have dedicated test machines, they are underutilized for test automation. Uh, and you might have brilliant and uh, excellent test automation solutions with parallel test execution capability and remote test execution, but they are limited by the capacity of your local test lab. At QInfoTech, with our regular continuous research and development, we have been able to solve this problem by developing a platform that we call as TAN. TIAN is an automated test execution lab on cloud. It is an entirely open source and an open execution platform that anybody can use to execute their automated tests on. TIAN internally provides a cloud of OS browser configuration combinations through a series of virtual machines and real devices that are connected to TIAN. As of now, TN is free for all our QInfoTech uh, clients. Now let us have a look at a small demo which shows how anybody can execute their Selenium based tests on TN. This is the web interface of TN. Anybody who likes to use TN would need to create an account on this web interface and then use TN from there onwards. I already have an account, so let me just log in to TN. In order to use TN, there are two primary modes of executing your test. You have queued execution tier and nodes on demand, or on demand uh, a dedicated machine way of executing tests. Let me just talk about queued execution tier right now. In queued execution tier, when you execute your tests, your tests acquire resources that are available in TN's available configuration list. And uh, let's say that you are executing parallel tests and simultaneously some other party is also executing the tests. All the tests are queued up in a priority order against all the available configurations in TN. And if there's a configuration that you desire and that is busy, the test would add, be added up into a test queue and as and when the resource becomes available, the test would be executed and feedback would be provided back to you. Let me show uh, you how you can run a test. What I have done is I have created a small demo uh, for uh, to showcase how uh, you can execute tests on TN. What I've done is I uh, we have a Jenkins uh, instance hosted somewhere in QNFOTEC and I have uh, added a TN uh, demo project to it. So Jenkins is, as you know, a very popular open source test automation, uh, sorry, a continuous integration server. And uh, uh, for, for the same purpose, I have created an automated solution. I have uh, integrated that as part of a build in one of the jobs in uh, Jenkins. When I click on build now here, the test will be fired up against TN and uh, so I've just done that. You see that the test is now, the build is now happening and the, finally the test would be executed. When that happens, you would see that one of the tests would come up 
in test session they just did and you can see the details of the test when I go to the test page and click on the test uh, link itself uh, you would see that a series of logs appears as the test is being executed on runtime and alongside the logs you would get in context screenshots of the screen of the uh, uh, machine on which the test is being executed. Once the test is complete uh, you would also get a link to see the video of the complete test execution. So now you have three ways of monitoring and analyzing your tests through the series of test logs, through the in-context uh, screenshots as well as at the end of the test you have uh, a way to view the video of the screen and analyze whether the test was executed properly or whether something went wrong or what exactly went wrong. So th through the, all these different methods you can schedule your tests as well as you can monitor and debug your automated test cases. Let me go back to the presentation. Now let us see what are the existing solutions that are already out there that solve some of these challenges but partially. You have Selenium Grid which can be used in combination with Jenkins. Now Jenkins can act as a good uh, server, a mechanism to manage your test nodes. You can create dedicated nodes in Jenkins, set, up, set them up against the Selenium Grid network and provide them so that anybody who's running your tests against your Jenkins environment can use it inside your own network. But the problem there is that there's a lot of setup that is required. You need to set up the Jenkins environment in your uh, local network and test lab. You need to prepare the test nodes properly so that Selenium Grid can be set up on them. And when somebody is executing the test and he really wants to monitor what is happening inside the machine or a runtime feedback of the test, you need to make sure that the person has remote access to the machine so that he can connect to that machine. In some situations, it is not always possible. And on top of that, since there's a lot of setup required, you do the setup, you prepare the images and machines in a specific fashion, you all obviously would have to do a lot of maintenance. So this comes with the maintenance cost as well. But when you use TN, you get all these done pre, uh, automatically done for you. You don't have to worry about maintaining these images in your local environment and creating all this infrastructure for you in your local test lab. TN is providing this as a service for you. You just need to connect your tests to TN and run them. Then you have an option of setting up your test lab in any of the available public clouds like uh, Amazon AWS, Microsoft Azure and a bunch of other cloud service providers. But they also come with their own set of shortcomings. Like the previous uh, case, there's a lot of setup that you have to do. You have to prepare the images in a specific fashion and make them, uh, uh, build them so that particular this, uh, automation tool can be executed on top of them. And then uh, you have maintenance of these images. And then on top of that, when you're running these images on any public cloud, there's a cost of running those images involved as well. So you don't just have the cost of maintaining all this infrastructure and setting them up for the first time, but a cost of running these images whenever you want to use them. And on top of that, uh, cloud service providers like AWS and Azure do not provide all flavors of Microsoft Windows because of the way Microsoft licenses are uh, organized, uh, you cannot have uh, desktop Windows OSs on Amazon Azure, uh, Amazon AWS and Microsoft Azure. That means you cannot have Windows XP, you cannot have Windows Vista, Windows 7 or Windows 8 on uh, uh, public cloud. And you certainly do not have these uh, cloud providers, certainly do not provide a mobile device cloud out there. That is something that you will have to build uh, on your own. This is where TN comes into picture. TN not only just serves 
through providing access to cloud images on public cloud, Tian integrates all possible ways QNFTEC has in executing and providing it as execution environment. That means Tian integrates public cloud images on Amazon AWS, uh, nodes, uh, virtual machines and real machines running in QNFTEC on-premise cloud as well as our on-premise QNFTEC device lab. So anybody who wants to execute a test he can schedule a test against Tian and the test may, depending on where the configuration resides, it can either execute on public cloud or it can execute on our local cloud or on inside our device lab. And uh, since the way Tian is uh, set up in a very automated fashion, the test can come from a continuous integration system. That means it can be scheduled through a CI or it can come from uh, execution of scripts by a manual tester. That means it can be a scheduled test or an unscheduled test. And uh, whoever is executing the test would get a feedback of the test through TN as well as anybody can review the test logs, the screenshots and the activity that happened inside uh, the machine on which the test was executed through a screen capture video through the web UI of the app. Now let us have a look at a more detailed demo of TN and see its uh, other strengths. We've already talked about queued execution tier where you start your test and it queues up against all available uh, tests. Let's say that you do not want your test to wait for any busy configuration that your test desire and you want to execute and get the feedback of the test as soon as you hit the start button of the test. In that case, you can use the nodes on demand feature, the node feature of TN. In this feature, you can start a dedicated node of the available configurations that are hooked up to TN that node would be started just for you and then you can run your test and TN would automatically route the test to that particular dedicated node that was started for you. In this case, your test would not need to wait for the configuration to come up if it's busy because you have a dedicated node running just for you and you would get an instant, feed, instant feedback of the tests as they get executed. So let me show you how this is done. When I click on the start a node, you go to this page where you see all the available nodes that are running against your account. Right now, I do not have any node running for my account. So I go to this start new on demand node link. This is where I can start a node, on demand node for any of these configurations. There are a bunch of configurations that are already available. You can see a bunch of boxes there. The green boxes are the virtual machines that are running inside Kinetics on-premise cloud. The blue box is the virtual machine that is running on my, uh, Amazon, uh, in, uh, Amazon AWS, one of the public uh, cloud service providers. And the yellow box is one of the machines that are a uh, real machine that is running inside Kinetics as a device. I can select any of these machines and start them for a dedicated instance for me. Or I can also connect the machine from which I am uh, giving this presentation as a dedicated uh, machine on node uh, on TN. I've just started a script and let me cancel this and click on this again. This time you would see that another instance, another machine just come up which is my machine on which I'm doing this demo. So I can hook any machine that is inside your inputting network as an on-demand node for TN. Now let me pick one machine, let me pick this machine and start it. When I click on the start node button, TN would launch this VM from the QNFTEC cloud and prepare it and make it available for a test execution uh, for this particular account. So let me click on the start button. You would see that an entry of a node has just been made on my active on-demand nodes and TN is launching this VM. 
to see what is happening inside the VM, let me just remotely connect to that VM. You see that Windows XP is booting up, that means that uh, VM is booting up and once it properly gets set up, uh, it will be ready for test execution uh, on this dedicated node. So this machine is booting up and you see that the status of the machine on web interface right now is pending and as soon as the machine is absolutely ready, the status would change from pending to running, uh, which would take a couple more seconds, uh, probably like 5 or 10 seconds and uh, let's just wait for it, let me just refresh this page. Okay, you see that uh, the, the status has now become running. That means this instance is available for test execution. Now, when I run my tests, they would this time be pointed to this dedicated test. So let me just run my tests and you would see that a browser would come up inside this uh, VM which I have remotely connected to. Uh, which should take a couple, maybe or so, and uh, since this is a virtual machine, it would take a little more time then. So the browser has just come up, the test has started, and I can go back in the web interface and I can see that one of the tests is, was in queue, but it just moved to in session and I can click on this link and see the details of the test which is in running state. When I click on it, I get a series of runtime logs and screenshots from which I can monitor and debug the test at runtime. And like in the last case, when the test gets completely executed, we get a link to uh, see the video of the screencast. And once the test is completed, you will see that the test has uh, was removed from the test session entry which is made in the uh, menu bar. So this is a very interesting way to monitor the activity that is happening inside your account. You can see all the running nodes. We have one node running. All the tests that are in queue, right now there are no tests in queue. And all the tests that are in session, right now there is no tests that are currently running. And the moment I click on this terminate button for this uh, on-demand node which was started for me, the node would be turned off and the entry for the node would be removed from the running node section. That means the node was started and in fact if I go back to the uh, RTC connection that I made, you would see that the connection was stopped off. That means that machine was uh, closed. Now let us have a look at some practical use cases, practical ways in which uh, TN can be used by real users. Testers can execute automated tests without bothering about preparing those desired configurations in their local lab. They don't need to create those configurations or maintain them in your local lab anymore. You just need to configure your tests to run against TN and schedule them. And wherever the tests are executed, they would be executed on TN and TN would take care of bringing an instance up for you and running your test against that instance and providing the results back. You can not just uh, run the test in an unscheduled fashion but you can also schedule your automated test over TN using a continuous integration system. So you can do CI driven testing and schedule your test in the weekly, nightly or depending on your build cycle and the test would be executed properly inside TN and a feedback would be provided back to the CI server. You can execute tests in parallel. With your local test lab, you always have a limitation of how much parallel tests you can execute because you have limited amount of resources. But with TN in picture, you do not have any such limitation. You can fire as many parallel tests as you want against TN and TN would execute them depending on all the available resources that are there uh, available inside TN. Testers can get an immediate feedback of the test. So uh, via test logs, via screenshots that are provided in context of the text logs, as well as at the end of the test, uh, via videos. This can be used to debug 
all your tests in case you are using TR as a platform to not just run the test but also create newer tests. And if you do not want your test to wait for an available configuration or busy configuration to become available, you can start an on-demand instance, a dedicated instance for you from for you inside TN and then use that to run your tests again. This way your test would not need to wait for any instance to come up. They would directly be pointed to your dedicated instance and test uh, results would be To conclude this webinar, I'd like to say that TN is an environment to schedule and execute compatibility tests. All your compatibility matrix requirements which requires specific images, specific configurations that you do not have inside your test lab, you can use TN to complement your test solution. You can have those tests executed inside TN. TN is an open environment, an open source solution against which you can schedule your tests as well as execute unscheduled tests as well. It certainly supports CI driven testing and in fact one of my demos also demonstrated that that even using your CI driven automated tests you can execute tests inside TN. TN is absolutely scripting language and test framework agnostic. That means in whatever language your test frameworks and test scripts are written in or whatever fashion you have designed your framework, you can execute those tests inside TN. TN does not limit you to create your tests or test frameworks in a certain fashion for them to be executed on TN. And with TN in picture, now you have a clean and an optimized way of managing and maintaining all the costs of test run infrastructure management. You don't need to worry about creating newer images and machines inside your local network. You can always use TN to complement your existing local test uh, lab. With TN in picture, like Mukesh started this presentation, we have a vision in mind. Firstly, right now that TN only supports execution of Selenium scripts, we want to enable TN for test execution of mobile applications as well. The applications that are installed on mobile devices. For this, we want to enable TN to be able to do test automation using Selenium as well as using Calabash, uh, Genie, Sequoia, and AutoEd and a bunch of other open source tools in future. Also, we want to utilize TN and its strength of cloud uh, of uh, test lab in cloud to be able to execute load tests. We want to enable TN so that we can do in-browser load tests as well as to be able to do execution of simulated browser load tests using test automation and load testing tools like JMeter and other open source load testing tool options. Like Mukesh said in the beginning, we have a vision of building an ecosystem for the testing community with TN. And for that, we want to enable third party organizations or anybody who has free resources to share those resources using TN. We want to build, that is one of the next steps for development of TN. And we want to build that necessary uh, mechanism using which anybody will be able to share their resources. While the tests are executing, we are, as part of the TN uh, process, we are collecting browser statistics. And we have, we plan to use these browser statistics to provide a compatibility matrix and suggestions of compatibility, uh, suggestions of browser versions to whoever who wants to use TN in future. Like I said in the beginning, TN is an open source, an entirely open source initiative and the primary intention is to provide and contribute back to the testing community. Uh, we are building this whole and soul 
but we are absolutely open for suggestions and contributions and collaborations from anybody or any organization who wants to uh, help us enhance this initiative further and make it uh, one thing that can be utilized by anybody for their greater advantage. With this, we are open for any questions. Thank you, Raman. I believe this was very <coughs> informative and must have given some food for thought to our audience. We'll speak Q and A phase now to answer the questions received from our audience. So let's uh, look at the first question here. How is this different from other similar device services that are already there in the market? Come on. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's a very interesting question. Thanks a lot for the question. Uh, I think uh, uh, when you talk about other similar services, you must be talking about software and a bunch of other uh, paid test execution services that are already out there. Uh, the difference from TN and the existing services, existing paid services out there is uh, the in, in the intention of building this service. TN is intended to uh, provide uh, an infrastructure management service back to the testing uh, community. And with Ian as a center, we would like to build an ecosystem around it so that anybody can utilize it, share their, their resources, and probably share best practices of managing and maintaining uh, test labs. Uh, there's no intention of uh, 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 gaining any uh, monetary values from the end. Right now it is a free service for all our existing clients. Well, thank you. So the next question is, I already have a big test machine slab. Would I still be able to use my local test lab and only run to turn to Tian for specific needs? Yes, absolutely. Uh, uh, Tian actually can complement your existing test solution as well as your existing local test lab. You can turn to Tian only in cases where you do not have a specific machine in your local test lab. As long as you can maintain a local test lab, uh, do that and continue using Tian when only you have you have a requirement of a specific machine that uh, does not exist in your local environment. So, um, I, this is Mukesh. I want to add a, a few thoughts here. Um, the purpose of TN, when, when we started to build uh, TN, was to be able to help organizations that are either very small, you know, or uh, small and medium companies, as well as companies that have a number of testing groups across the organizations across the organization, wherein they have a test lab in, in one particular office, the other particular office folks have to sort of, you know, uh, book the resources to be able to use those machines. Uh, with Tian, companies of such, um, uh, such sizes um, or multiple office would be able to leverage all these machines through Tian. Thank you, Mukesh, for adding on to this answer. Um, let me ask uh, one more question. I think this is for you. So, um, can I deploy it here for my organization only? Well, right now, uh, we have built it as a generic service, uh, but it certainly has a lot of scope of customization. Um, we would prefer our clients to use the hosted service for number of reasons including the maintenance. Um, uh, it, it, it would certainly lower the cost of maintaining, but we are open to deploying it for our clients um, you know, who want it specifically in their environment. Thank you, Mukesh. Another question. So where are the VMs hosted? Uh, okay, I'd like to take that. Uh, so. Uh, there is no central location in which the VMs are hosted. Uh, like we said, TN brings uh, together all the different ways in which uh, we have the infrastructure available at QInfotec. Some of the VMs are hosted in cloud, in the public cloud on Amazon AWS. 
Some of the VMs are hosted inside our local on-premise uh, cloud. And we, we don't just have VMs, we also have real machines running inside uh, that are hooked up to TN, as well as some smart devices that are hooked up to TN. Thank you. Um, another one for you. Okay, Mukesh wants to take it. So uh, Yeah, okay, so the question is, are there any plans in the future to charge for TN usage? Will TN continue to stay free for QAI customers? Well, the answer is yes, TN will continue to stay free. It is essentially an initiative that we took um, uh, as, as you know, it, uh, essentially for the testing community and our clients. Um, you know, as a leader in independent software testing services, you know, we consider it as our responsibility to contribute back to the testing community. And TN is one way that we've been able to accomplish part of it. And you know, now we are reaching out and a number of other partners have already signed up with us on TN, wherein they are helping us build it further, as well as you know, doing the beta testing of it. Um, you know, as, as far as the cost part is concerned or usage part of it is concerned, it is free because you know, if you have your own infrastructure, like like I said, you know, let's say there is a company X with multiple um, uh, companies, you know, that are under the group, you can all use the the infrastructure that is there in all the um, uh, group companies through TN, and that is all free. But if you were to use um, Amazon machine hosted in Amazon, then you know there will be a minimal cost because that is essentially going to Amazon. Um, similarly, Microsoft Azure, if you need a device that is you know hooked on to a particular machine in cloud which is managed by a, a group, then whatever fees that goes to them is essentially what you would pay. Otherwise, nothing else. You know, um, this also allows um, companies to come forward and put some of the hardware that is no longer uh, you know useful to them you know put it in in our tian cloud so that others can make use of it and these others are essentially um, you know either your own um, uh, company folks you can say you know this machine would be only available to folks within our network or outside of network thank you thank you mukesh raman this is for you so can we also test flex-based websites? Okay, uh, it totally depends on uh, how those flex applications are uh, uh, being developed. If they have an open JavaScript API and they open up in web browsers, using Selenium we can certainly test them and yes, we can run those tests uh, using TN. But let's say they are dedicated, uh, they are independent flex applications or they do not have an open JavaScript API, Selenium cannot do anything. In that case, we would need another open source tool like Genie in picture for doing that. As of now, uh, TN does not support uh, tests that uh, are written using Genie, but uh, we are developing it further to enable support for Genie and a bunch of other open source tools. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure this question probably came from uh, you know folks who are developing applications using Adobe Flash. But um, you know, um, like like um, Ramandeep said you know, on the last slide, you know, what are our next steps? That, you know, we want to be able to support any and uh, Auto8 and other tools to be able to use TN. So that that's something you know, that would be um, in the future build. All right. Uh, Raman, so given Tian's scope and potential scale, has Tian been adequately tested for security and performance in its operations? Uh, right now, Tian is in beta state. We have released a beta version of it, and uh, which has essential uh, functionalities to uh, run your basic tests and on-demand uh, nodes and run tests against them. Um, we certainly need to do a lot of testing around that area and that includes slow testing and security testing which is uh, in line and will be coming in very soon. So another one related to this, what is the support for any bugs in the system? Uh, right now 
Uh, it's just uh, through email. As long as we have bit right now, we just have an email support. You'll have to email us back about any defects. But uh, very soon we'll open up a support channel as well. Great. Okay. Uh, and um, how can I add my machine to Tian server for personal use? Uh, that is what we're trying to build. Uh, once we build the mechanism of third party being able to add their resources and machines to TN, we would also have along with it a uh, proper uh, wizard using which you would be able to decide whether your machine just goes for your execution or it can be shared to public. And if it can be shared to public, you can schedule it uh, for a, let's say a particular uh, time in the day when uh, you say it's free and for a particular time in the day when it is not free, it's just for you. But that's, that's what is in development right now. Okay. So the last question that we have here. Uh, will the test results reflect back on my test management tool? Absolutely. Uh, but the end does not restrict uh, execution of scripts in any fashion. If uh, you have created your uh, framework and the framework gets integrated with any test management tool and you're running your test on that tool, the uh, TN system would give you the results as is without modifying them in any fashion and it would be equivalent to when you run your tests against your standalone uh, test machines. So in that sense, TN does not have any restrictions in your existing automated test or the mechanism in which you run the tests. Great. Um, and then, you know, we just got a message from one of the folks uh, uh, in fact, a few more messages are coming in. Uh, uh, Sagar, we'll take you up uh, on your offer to help uh, to contribute to uh, building this further. Um, we'll, we'll get in touch with you um, um, after the uh, meeting, maybe um, sometime tomorrow or next week, and we'll let you know how you can contribute. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much. So um, thank you, everyone, for joining us in this web event and spending your valuable time with us. We hope you found it useful and informative. I would also like to thank Mukesh and Ramandi for sharing their thoughts and insights with us. Please note that if there are still any questions that come into, my, into your mind at a later point of time, uh, please feel free to write to Mukesh or Raman and we'll get back to you at the earliest. You will soon receive a short survey about today's web event and we would really appreciate if you could please take a few minutes to provide your valuable feedback. You may log off at this time. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you.